I'm going to repair this old shovel. You know, the corners are rounded over. And this handle is super loose. So these are rivets. I'm going to drill that out. I just put on goggles. Keep drilling on that. And I got this other one loose. There's a plate on there. And I gotta pull this ribbon out. a little bit which actually adds strength if it's just flat it's easier to bend but when that metal's angled it's stronger there's a pretty good dent here i think i'm going to take a hammer to that pound that down i'm not going to do that because it'll be super loud and here bend this a bit more some hammering on it. 
All right, pound on the shovel head. I'm gonna put it on my vise. Uh, I'll probably put it here on the anvil. Anvil type thing. It's not an actual anvil. They might be called anvil, I'm not sure. And I'll just pound on this area that's raised, raised up. And I don't know if I'll need to pound on that or not. We'll see. On the uh, shovel handle, there's some cracks in this wood. So I actually just used super glue because I couldn't prime them apart very much before I clamped them. And super glue is about the consistency of water, so it'll run down in the cracks and things. Let's see how this turned out. I'm going to snap the clamp. Wow, that worked out good. So now on the shovel blade, taking out a few of the dents. There's a dent right here. And I haven't pounded on this. I thought I would have to, but what I'm actually doing is using my vise. Put that in there, right on that. The, the bend is right in here. I don't. I'm going to be careful so I don't bend anything else that's not supposed to be bent. This plane right here actually is supposed to be all straight. But they're bump right there. So that's. took out most of it and I worked around the rest of it with uh, just the pliers that's looking pretty good it's a little wonky um, I don't know if I can take that out but it's an old shovel so I think I'm gonna go with with that now about reinstalling this handle and I can tell here that this isn't as weathered as much as this side so this side goes up got two bolts I'm not going to use uh, rivets like we're, used, we're originally I don't have any so I'm going to use these bolts line up the hole bolt in on the back side put the nut on snug that up now line up this other one oops Oops, I forgot this piece. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to have to take this part and figure out where that goes. Actually, this piece is tighter fit on here. So this, this lighter non-weathered side actually goes on this back side. Oh no. That bolt sporter line tight enough there it goes awesome line up this other bolt put that nut on mm. I want to thread on there very well. Well, anyways, that that goes on there. And this one, just look that up. And I'll take a uh, straight screwdriver. Oh, I thought I'd need a wrench on the, the nut. Yeah, this one I do. So I'm going to put a wrench on here. Then I'll tighten that up with the screwdriver. And that's it. Pretty simple, but if you remember before, this was all sloppy, moving around, and uh, 
not good much better now it's still like I say it's you can see it's kind of like twisted warped but eh, it's an old shovel so and here's the finished shovel yeah it's not perfect I'm surprised the bottom is just wore so much somebody used it a lot for something but uh, be sure and check out my other videos please subscribe like share leave a comment below have a great day